Today we celebrate International Day of Women and Girls in Science under the theme Equity, Diversity and Inclusion. Water unites us. We celebrate the women who have pioneered new technologies, who have helped to cure diseases, who have identified exoplanets, who have improved rural water and sanitation, and who have broken new ground in the fight against climate change. We celebrate their achievements, but we also recognize the many obstacles that women and girls face in pursuing a career in science and the work that must be done to lift those barriers. As reported by UNESCO, women account for only 33% of world researchers. This is not only a tragedy for the millions of girls who aspire to be scientists, but a loss for a world in need of their talents, their creativity, their genius, and their drive. While women and girls are making significant contributions in the field of science, they yet are still a distinct minority in these fields. Stereotypes and biases lie at the core of the challenges facing women and girls in science. We must change this trajectory. And education is the key for this. By putting in place the right systems and institutions, by ensuring that they are open and accessible, we empower women and girls. For a young girl who aspires to go to outer space or to the depths of the ocean, education can take a daydream and turn it into an ambition. Education allows young women and girls the chance to help shape our shared goals of a greener and a bluer future, including around SDG 6 for clean water and sanitation. With 2.2 billion people around the world lacking access to safe water, engaging more women and girls in science can help multiply breakthroughs and alleviate water scarcity. As president of the UN General Assembly, I'm committed to supporting women and girls in any way, including in providing pathways for women and girls that aspire in the fields of science. Expanding women and girls' representation in science will require concerted effort by employers, educational institutions, policymakers, and individuals to create inclusive education and work environments that enable women and girls to thrive. I call upon national governments, the international community, civil society partners, and the private sector to support efforts on this front. Let us ensure that more women and girls are given the opportunity to innovate, invent, and inspire in the fields of science.